Hello ladies and gentlemen and those in between, welcome back to my channel, Everett here, and today we're going to talk about Meet Me Outside. So, how did I feel about this series before watching it? At first, honestly speaking, I was a little bit skeptical as to whether or not these actors could get the heart of the masters. I'm talking about Kaloitin Konko and Genesis Redito. Why did I think so? First off, I first saw Kaloit and Konko in the series Boys Lockdown, and to be honest, I wasn't really impressed with this character in that series, and if you guys have already seen my review in Boys Lockdown, you've already known that I didn't even mention this character in that review, simply because personally I think that there was just nothing extraordinary about his character, and I was not totally blown away by the way he portrayed his character in that series. So if you guys want to watch my review in Boys Lockdown, please check out the link in the description box below. Anyway, if you are consistently up to date about these BL series, you've already known that Genesis Redito played one of the main characters in the BL series in between. And frankly speaking, I really love Genesis. I mean, I've always been vocal about this. If I had to choose one face to represent the Philippines in the BL universe, it would be Genesis. Mainly because he has this aura of a typical BL character that can make you fall in love so easily. He has this tame look on his face, which makes him appealing to our senses. So, when I found out Genesis would star in another BL series entitled Meet Me Outside, which is produced by Blood, I was really excited about it. Meet Me Outside is a story of two young men alone for the holidays for different reasons, drawn to one another on the day before Christmas after a conversation through the Blued app. This is a story of a broken-hearted social media influencer who goes on vacation and accidentally meets someone in the same hotel where he stays. This is one BL series that shows that not everyone active on gay applications of Blued and whatnot look only for sex. Some hope to find true love even through gay applications where most people do not take love seriously. Now, let's talk about our main characters Dale and James. Dale is played by Genesis Redito, who is the same actor who played one of the main characters in the BL series in between. So apparently this is not the first time that Genesis Redito has ventured into BL series. In this series, Dale is a resort clerk who has a crush on James who is a social media influencer played by Kaloi Tinkonko. And as I've already said, Kaloi is one of the supporting roles in the BL series Voice Lockdown. Dale and James may be one of the newest BL couples that we have today, but let's face it, their chemistry outshines the rest of these BL couples. Their chemistry is extra special, and there's something about the two of them that can make you all giddy. <laughs> the way they look at each other, even the simple gestures, the way they smile at each other can give you the butterflies. <laughs> This BL couple is rising to popularity and I'm sure that a lot of BL fans out there agree with me and honestly speaking, I'm not really satisfied with Genesis being paired up with Migs because I don't feel their chemistry at all. It feels more like watching two guys in a romantic relationship than in a romantic relationship. However, Genesis and Kaloi have a striking chemistry. Their chemistry can leave you speechless and by just looking at the two of them, can put a big smile on your face. They're the type of real couple that can make you smile all throughout every episode of the series. Aww. Unquestionably, this series is a satisfying video editing and cinematography, and of course the two lead characters are clearly made for each other. Their chemistry is very close, if not on par with the chemistry between Xavier and Miko, the Lone Stranger, Ace and Sky of Mighty the series, Ben and Jim and Ben and Jim the series, and Carl and Vlad of Gaius the Vigula. Although there's nothing extraordinary about their acting skills because the storyline is mainly centered around two guys who find love at Christmas unexpectedly. I mean, there are no extra and irrelevant characters and not even a third party, but still, you can get glued to a computer screen once you start binge watching the series. The two lead characters are both charismatic, but my only problem with this series is that every episode is way shorter than expected. Wait, what? <laughs> 6 minutes? 7 minutes? 11 minutes? Are you kidding me? QUIT PLAYING GAMES WITH MY HEART! <laughs> I was not born to watch a very short video only to be left hanging up in the air wanting for more! <laughs> anyway, let me take my hair in the sun because it's very long. 
No, seriously, despite the fact that every episode is very short, this series has indeed made a great impact on the BL universe. Aww. I think that the most impressive thing about the storyline of the series is that it tackles finding love in dating application like Blue. So, in this connection, I ask a few of my subscribers about what they think of finding love online, and here are some answers from them. Kim EXO says, Yes, of course, it is possible. In my opinion, it is possible because in this way, you get to know someone's personality and you don't just get a good impression of them through how they look. People can choose whatever profile pictures they want and they can hide behind these edited pictures. But when you start knowing their personality through video calls and sending daily pictures, it can make everything more beautiful. And that is why I think this term gender doesn't really matter. You can be straight but fall for anybody of the same sex because you're falling in love with their personality and the type of person they are and not just because you are attracted to their face or voice or physical attributes. I always thought that I was a straight girl but then when I got to know the right girl, we started off with friendship and got to know each other on a deeper level and stayed stuck with one another in good times and in bad times. It is surely possible that there are even some people who meet in person and get married and they live a happy life. Ernesta says, I believe you can find love online. You can even find love while playing hide and seek. Just kidding. Well, I heard many stories about people getting married after years of being pen pals. That used to be the mode of finding love for others back in the day, right? If many had patiently done the snail mail method just to stay in a relationship with someone thousands of miles away, it would also be easier for us now because anytime we can see each other via video chat or we can easily respond to a message using Facebook Messenger and so forth. Unlike before, you had to wait for weeks. I truly believe that there are people who are into online dating. That way, you will get to know how serious the person is because it has so many challenges and we know what these challenges are. Bill Roper says, In most of my experiences, the apps have been pretty much a hookup tool. I've met some who have really wanted to be more, but there's just never been that spark where you really think they are the Mr. Right of your life. It's entirely possible for you to meet the perfect person one day. It would be nice to have that happen in life, where on first meeting, you look into each other's eyes and you know he is your future. Some say that's just a fantasy, but crazier things can happen. My partner and I meet when I first volunteered with an awareness organization which I had already been volunteering with. As soon as we looked at each other, we both felt the attraction and we were together from then until the day he died 18 and a half years later. Ice Angel says, I do believe it is possible to find love online. It may not always work out, but finding love out there does not always work either. At the end of the day, it's a matter of whether you found the right person how much both of you are willing to contribute towards that relationship. So, what do you guys think? What do you think of online dating? Do you think it is possible to find love on the internet? Please let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below. Hi, I'm Seth Grantham, also Everett Javanet's boyfriend, aka Prince. And today's subject is, do I believe in finding love on the internet and why? Well, the answer to that question is, yes, I do believe in finding love on the internet. Aww. Because I personally have. I have been in a relationship with Everett now for almost 13 months. And it has been a really, really great relationship. But, you have to watch out for people that are out there to get you though. There's catfish. They will come after you financially, personally, to get back at you for something you might have done. They might be a whole different person that you're talking to. So you have to video chat. That is definitely a rule. You must video chat. Also with online dating, you have to set up a schedule so that you both get equal time with each other. If you live on opposite sides of the world, like me and Everett do, we talk for three hours in the morning and a couple hours at night. And that way we each get time on each side of the spectrum. Now, and that all, like I said, it all depends on where you are in the world, and you have to set up a schedule. But you can make it work. You just have to keep keep the, the conversation alive. Don't let it get don't let it get dull. 
I recommend that you look up on the internet and find subjects to talk about if you run out of things to talk about. But sometimes it's good, just good to watch TV together or a movie or just hang out. You can do that. It does work. So yes, I do believe in finding love on the internet. Aww. And that's my opinion on that. Thank you. Experiences with online dating tend to be mixed. Some people have excellent experiences with online dating that end in satisfying relationships. However, others have stories filled with confusion and frustration. So, much like any other way to date, meeting someone online has both benefits and drawbacks. What are the advantages of online dating? First, Online dating provides individuals with access to many more potential partners that they can often find in their daily lives. This is especially true for individuals interested in partners of a particular type, orientation, lifestyle, or in isolated areas. Two, many online dating sites offer various types of personality testing and matching. Such matching can help guide individuals to our dating partners who may be more compatible. Three. Online dating offers a number of ways to get to know a potential date before meeting in person. Such computer-mediated communication allows for safe and convenient interaction without much risk or time commitment. What about the disadvantages? First, the choices of partners can become confusing and overwhelming. Without a clear plan, online daters can get stuck endlessly shopping for the perfect partner rather than actually starting a satisfying relationship. Two. Matching is a difficult process and testing may not be accurate for everyone. In addition, people may present differently in person or change over time, so matching may overlook potentially good partners in the process. Third, communication through computers is lacking some of the information provided in face-to-face -face interaction. As a result, it is harder to evaluate a potential match online. Also, some of the cues and features that build attraction, like touching, cannot be accomplished through a computer. So, such computer-mediated communication may have an artificial and unemotional quality. Meet Me Outside is a BL series that shows how important it is to remember that online dating is best used as a resource to meet individuals for eventual face-to-face -face dating. Keeping that goal in mind will prevent any one of us from getting stuck on the drawbacks and limitations of dating online. Daily gyms are an example of the true love found unexpectedly over the internet. Not everyone may be lucky enough to find a Mr. or Ms. Right on global networks, but that shouldn't stop them from believing in love. Meet Me Outside is one real series which gives hope to single people out there who look for true love. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when my next video comes out. Peace out. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and those in between, welcome back. So, how did I feel about? So, how did I feel about this series we were watching? At first, I was a little bit skeptical as to whether or not they. So, how did I feel about this series before watching it? At first, I was a little ske skeptical. So. So, how did I feel about watching? So, how did I feel about this series before watching it? At first, honestly speaking, I was a little bit skeptical as to whether or not these actors.